Licking Hall's library is the largest library that the Trust owns and is one of the finest surviving country house libraries in existence. This is the Eliot Bible. It's the complete text of the Bible printed in the Wapanic language of the Wampanoag Native American people. It was printed in Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard College in 1663 and it's one of the first books to ever be printed in North America. John Eliot was a Puritan missionary who lived in Salem, Massachusetts. He visited the local tribes to learn their language so that he could translate the Bible phonetically into their own language so that he could continue his mission work with the local tribes people. We know that about a thousand copies of the Bible were printed, most of which were for use in the missionary work in the Massachusetts area, but about 20 copies were sent almost straight away back to England as a sort of PR exercise from, from the Puritans in, in Massachusetts to say to their supporters and their families and friends back home in England, look at the work we're doing, please support us, i.e. send us money. <laughs> So there's a huge, wonderful piece of provenance here connecting this book to the early Puritan settlers. One of the reasons why the book is so important is because it's one of the only surviving sources of the Wapanarnic language. It's become very important recently in the last 20 or 30 years because there's been a project amongst the Wampanoag Native American people to reclaim their language almost from extinction because they're using the text of the Eliot Bible to relearn their language and also to teach it to the next generations and it's now taught throughout schools in their area. The Eliot Bible will be on display later on this year as part of the events surrounding the publication of the 125 Treasures book so please come and visit us whenever you can.